for Storm Team Weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, we've seen some dry and cool weather across our area over the over today, and then we're going to continue to see that as we go through the weekend. Temperatures are going to continue to be in the 70s for daytime highs. It's another clear and cool night for us overnight tonight. A nice weekend in store, and we're going to start warming up as we go into next week before another cold front swings through our area and brings temperatures back into the 60s and 70s for daytime highs. That's going to come later in the week next week. Almanac for today, we made it to a high of 70. That's a degree below average for us for daytime highs this time of the year. The record stands at 86 back in 1916. This morning's low of 42 is just two degrees below average for morning lows this time of the year. That record of 17 back in 1950. Cool day in November back in 1950. Today, we're sitting at 60 degrees right now out at Mathis Field. Humidity at 38%. Winds are out of the east at around 5 miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 30.11 inches and steady right now with clear conditions. And it's going to stay clear overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Temperatures across the region look like this. 62 out in Wall, 60 in Brady, 64 down in Junction, 66 in Sonora, and 64 in Ozona. So temperatures are starting to come down into the 60s and 50s. How about some of those football games happening tonight across our area? When are going to be calm for us throughout game time. Temperatures around kickoff around 58 degrees, clear and cool conditions, and then we drop into the lower 50s as many of those games start to wrap up tonight. Bus stop forecast for tomorrow. Going to be on the cool side as you get ready to go off to school tomorrow. Temperatures in the middle 40s with clear conditions heading off to school. We'll warm up into those 60s as we go into tomorrow afternoon with sunny conditions as you get off the bus on your Friday afternoon. Friday night football games are also coming up across the area. Winds will be out of the north at around 5 to 10 miles an hour throughout the games. We'll start off in those mid 50s around kickoff, clear and cool conditions once again and dropping into those upper 40s by 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Clouds and radar look like this for us right now. Not a lot to talk about across the Lone Star State. There is some action going on across the eastern half of the United States. There's that cold front that pushed through our area. That's now bringing showers to the Ohio Valley, into Kentucky, Tennessee, and even into Atlanta, Georgia. About getting ready to get in on some thunderstorms. Snow on the northern side of this system up into Canada, right along the U.S.-Canadian border there. Other than that, things are pretty quiet, and it's going to look that way for us over the next several days. Plenty of sunshine on Friday. Temperatures in the upper 60s, some low to mid-70s across, across the I-10 corridor. And then as we roll into Saturday, many of us in those low 70s, and then we're going to continue to do that as we go into Sunday. It's next week when we start to see a warm up across our area. Temperatures getting back into those upper 70s might hit the low 80s in some communities as we go into Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we're going to see warmer temperatures again, a little bit of cloud cover. This is ahead of our next cold front coming through again, another dry cold front but cooler conditions as we go into the latter half of next week. Talking about temperatures coming down into the 60s for daytime highs as we roll into Thursday of next week. Tonight, we drop to around 41 degrees with clear and cool conditions. For our Friday, we'll top out near 70 with sunny and cool conditions. Those winds out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. As we go through the next five days, this is what to expect across our area. We're going to continue to see sunny, dry conditions through the weekend. Temperatures are going to be on the cooler side, at least through Saturday. We'll start to see a warm up as we head towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Temperatures getting into those upper 70s, possibly low 80s, as we head towards Wednesday ahead of that approaching cold front. We have more KCN News coming up right after this.